Okay, so now I'm laughing because if I wasn't laughing, I'd be crying. I'm not going to lie. So this is a headlight update. If you haven't watched the previous video, I'll leave a link in the description. Go and watch that. It'll give you a little bit of an idea of where we're at now. But anyways, little recap. Um, I was having some problems with the lenses on the headlights that were in the van originally and the job that was done on them was poor is an understatement to be honest so we decided that I was going to get another set of headlights not a new set but another set take them apart and hopefully they'll have a bit better lenses on ended up doing that so stripped them all down got them all taken apart just mind just ideally you need some sort of like oven or something to be able to do this in because a heat gun and doing it the way I did it was not the best way to do it. It was a bit rough. Look, I'm not gonna bullshit you and tell you that it went well because it didn't, right? It didn't. But we got them apart and um, turns out the lenses, they looked all right actually when I seen the lights, but turns out the lenses are actually even worse than the original ones. Not ideal. Now, my two options at this point were I have a brand new set of headlights in my van. Uh, they're not genuine Ford ones. So I could go ahead and try and get them apart. But the fact that I had so much hassle trying to get the other two apart, I wasn't confident in taking these ones apart. And I didn't want, I didn't want to wreck these ones because they're about 120 quid or something for these headlights. And I didn't want to wreck them because then I haven't got any lights from my van and i didn't really want to go and spend 120 quid on a set of brand new ones to take the bits and then wreck them anyway now just in case anyone's thinking about doing this themselves and trying to you know update your headlights it's not easy it's not easy it's not as easy as it looks or it seems now the way i wanted these lights done i bought the the, the bulbs and everything and i had it all planned out in my head and actually getting it to that stage you know it could you could do it it is possible um is it the most practical way to do it no it's not because the way i was going to do it means that if anything wasn't working like one of the bulbs then it means i'm going to have to basically take the lenses apart to fix anything which i i don't want to be doing that again no but we have some good news we've got some very good news i have got some upgraded headlights and you're gonna think nathan how have you pulled this off how have you managed through all that hassle that you've just talked about there how have you managed to pull off some crazy looking transit headlights out of everything you've just told us Now, there's a local lad called Craig that um, I've been speaking to through Instagram. Really sound guy. Turns out he also has this crazy, I'm saying crazy, you need to go and check this out. Crazy looking Ford Transit Mark 7, all right? It's lowered, it's got wide arches on it, it's got big side skirts on it. It's It looks the nuts, I'm not going to lie, it looks the absolute dog's Danglies. And it just so happens that he not only has a set of upgraded headlights in his van, but he also knows a thing or two about making them. So I thought, you know what, instead of spending 120 quid or whatnot on buying new lights for me to go and probably wreck, then I might as well, you know, pay someone local who knows what they're doing, support somebody local who also has a modified transit, an unreal modified transit and get some done properly. Do you know what I mean? Properly. You know, my dad's always saying, if you're going to do the job, do it once and do it right. I've done this job a few times already and I still haven't done it right. So I had to do something. But anyways, so went to talk to Craig. Craig basically told us that the way I wanted them done isn't going to happen because uh, he does them a specific way or he wanted to do mine a specific way. And you know what? It's the best way to do them, I'm not going to lie, it's the best way to do them, it's the most practical way to do them, and, you, the, and the look unreal, the look unbelievable. I said, you know what, let's do it, let's make it happen, I'm sick of taking headlights apart, cutting me fingers, burning myself. Sometimes you just have to hold your hands up and go, it's not for me, I'm, I'm done. And you know what, that's alright sometimes, that's alright, because it turns out we're getting a better result. We're getting a much better result 
than if I was going to do them myself. And it's a bit of peace of mind as well, knowing that the way he explained to me that these work, I'm sound. Do you know what I mean? I'll be able to replace the bulbs. Nothing's going to go majorly wrong. If anything does happen, it's easy to get to. It just makes sense. Total sense. Now, if you want to go and have a look at Craig's van, first of all, you definitely want to go and have a look at that. I'm going to leave his Instagram name on the screen in the description. He's got a few transit related things going on of his own as well. So he's definitely worth a follow. It's definitely worth a follow just for checking out his van. Clearly got a lot of knowledge about make you know the headlights and what goes into them and what the best way to do them is so if you want to make any inquiries or ask him about anything i'm sure he won't mind as long as you're polite and you compliment his nice van i'm sure he won't mind re you reaching out to him i think it's about time i stop chatting and we'll actually get them put in the van because i cannot wait to see what these look like once they're running So what do you think? What do, what do you think of them? I mean, I just think it changes the whole look of the van. It modernises it. The black ties in. He did it in that panther black with the flake in. Just unreal. Unbelievable efforts. I cannot wait. Do you know what? I'm going to be over indicating. I'm going to have the, the halo lights on. It's going to be... If you, you're going to see us. If you see me out and about, you, you can't miss us now, basically, with these headlights in. You cannot miss us. So I guess this kind of means that... This series is cut a little bit short. I was expecting to, you know, get a good, good bit of content out for you lot on these, um, on these headlights and making them myself. I didn't quite go to plan, did it? But nonetheless, we've learned something. That it's okay sometimes to admit that maybe there's a better option. Maybe there is a different way that you can do something, and maybe you'll get better results doing it that way. You have probably noticed I'm sitting in the van. It's not at the body shop anymore. It's back, I've got it back on the drive. So probably next next video is probably gonna be the walk around uh, where I show you all of the work that's being carried out. It'll have the new headlights in as well. I wanna try and get a dry day if I can and clean the van because as you can imagine, it's raining, it's salty roads, the van's minging. You know what, give us as much stick as you want for chucking the towel in on these headlights, right? As much as you want, fire away, because I couldn't give a And as long as I'm happy, then that's all that matters. I'm glad I've been able to document this process, though, because it isn't as easy as it seems. Maybe it is a lot easier for, you know, some of you who maybe have a bit more experience than I do at doing stuff like this. I'm going to end it there. It's absolutely chucking it down outside. I'm going to get myself back in the house. Have a fantastic day, enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you guys in the next video.